What's up YouTube? Anything Billy here. On today's video, we're going to be replacing rear brakes on a 2018 Nissan Murano Platinum Edition. So let's get started. Tools you'll need for this job is you'll need a 14mm socket and ratchet. You'll possibly need a screwdriver, some type of piston compression tool, a flashlight, and no job is complete without the hammer. So this is pretty much a straightforward brake job. It's got less than 70,000 miles on it. If there's any issues, which I hope there ain't gonna be one right here, which yep, they already are. Uh, when we get there, I'll let you know. But right now, let's take this top board off and see if I can move this back and go get a, a wrench. Nope. So pretty much once you take the top one out, you can just kind of turn it down. It being only 60 some thousand miles on it, the slide, the slide should be okay. This will be a quick break job because everything goes smooth, I hope. Look at that. Goes in just really smooth. Oh yeah, make sure before you get started you take the brake cap off, put a rag over it so the air can escape easy. Take off the brakes. Get your screwdriver. Take off the hardware. Add the new hardware. Okay, there's the bottom. So, make sure it's not hitting. Here goes the first brake. Now, like the other ones, this only has one squiller, so put it on the. I put it on the driver's side on the back. It don't matter where you put it, wherever you want to. Slide that back on there. Put the slide back in. Screw it down. Snug it up. Simple as that. So now we'll go on to the passenger side. So here we are on the passenger side. You just do it like you do on the driver's side. Make sure you don't drop this on the ground. If you will, you have to clean it out. Clean it up and put new lubrication on it. The lubrication looks good. Everything feels great. There you go. 
Air brakes on this uh, Murano's done. Pretty simple. We put the wheels and tires on it. We'll take it for a test drive. So the last thing you want to do before you take it for a test drive is make sure you put the brake reservoir cap back on and make sure the brake fluid is full. I want to welcome everybody back to this test drive of this 2018 Nissan Murano Platinum Edition. First thing you want to do after you wash up is you want to hop in here and tap the brakes. Get them good and pumped up that way you don't back out of the garage with no brakes. You want to start the engine. You want to buckle up for safety. Let's back her out of the garage. And this thing has cameras everywhere. Spread you back out, just uh, massage the brakes, send you back out. That way you know that the brakes are good, the brakes are there. Like always when we're on these test drives, what we're gonna see if we hear any squeaks, squeals, feel any vibrations, any other type of noises that's deal with the car. This was rear brakes that we put on, so more than likely if we have a vibration, it's going to be in the pedal, not in the steering wheel. It may be both, but so far everything seems to be pretty smooth. And I take the same route every time I test drive. I already know the roads, I already know where the bumps and the noises are. So if you happen to do this for a living, make sure you find you a, a little test drive area so you'll know where to go every time and you'll know what bumps makes the car do what. But so far everything has been pretty smooth. Also test driving will also uh, give you a feeling where if you've got a lug nut loose or the wheels loose on the car, you'll feel a vibration. But as long as you torque them down to specs you shouldn't have no issues so far everything feels pretty good just the normal road noises and bumps also I like to record myself on a test drive just in case something happens and I get into the accident that way I can show proof whether it's my fault or if it's somebody else's fault because you know the customers are going to be mad either way so that's why I try to make sure I record myself test driving it especially if you're a one owner one garage man like I am Just trying to make a living out there in the world trying to cross my T's and dot my I's so they say so as I turn on to the road that the shop's on once again 
I want to thank everybody for watching this video. I hope my videos are educational. If you like my videos, please hit that like button. If you want to see more, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell at the bottom of the page so you'll never miss an upload. So until next time, bye now.